Welcome to you for this evening's game. Regrettably, the weather has been extremely unkind to us here. It is wet and blustery and remarkably inhospitable. Despite all of that, it is good to see that the faithful from both sides have apparently been undeterred. We have a terrific turnout here. The atmosphere is bubbling despite these adverse conditions. All we need now is for the game to live up to its initial billing. And this must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. Two high-profile, high-caliber teams. This is a welcome event for all these supporters. Well, get ready for some high-grade football, Peter. Two strong teams, as you say, full of wonderful individual talent. And we have every right to anticipate some really entertaining football. As to whether we'll see a high-scoring contest, that's a little harder to predict. I'm not complaining, though, because there are good players everywhere you look around this surface and that's a fine start in itself. So that's got things on the way. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? Yeah, Paul Pogba. He could be a real game changer for this team, Peter. He's got the strength to hold off defenders and the technical ability to pick out a killer pass he can also shoot with great power and accuracy he's a real midfield duck up he gets he's done very well to get to that well that was high class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high class weight Tomine it's Fernandez, and here's Rashford it's a loose ball he's found his man Bastoni trying to get there. Barrera. Rashford. Skriniar gets it back. Bruno Fernandes. Tomine. And here's Rashford. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more. Going for goal! Good run, lovely take, but that is where it stops. Well, I think they can breathe a massive sigh of relief then. Such a let off. Pogba. Manchester United going about it patiently, perhaps too patiently. Bruno Fernandes plays it forward. Chelhanolu tries to get it forward quickly. It looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. And it's Chelhanolu. Van der Peek, Chalanolu, Emerson, Lukaku has a goal! Goal! Inter! 
Inter are so well practiced in the art of keeping the ball through wonderful passing and movement and a real appetite to ensure it's reflected in their goal count. Into Milan, break the deadlock. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. De Gea sends that a long way. Keeper sends it forward. Bastoni positions himself well and cuts it out. Now it's Cavani, battles to win it back. Bastoni with the challenge, and he... He's gone for it! Pogba. Bruno Fernandes. Stefan de Vrij. Chalhanolu. Hardly anything between the sides, and the score is 1-0. Tomine, and it's Rashford, gets wrestled off the ball, could move up a gear here, it's come loose. Pinged forward, Cavani, Bruno Fernandes, loose ball, who's going to, it's Cavani! The ball's loose, and they've been caught out here, heaved to the back post. Guilty of lacking inventiveness here, it's all broken down. Rafael Varane. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Lovely bit of skill there. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Well, that's a booking, always looked it. Into Milan with a set piece chance. And the ball's come out. Shapes to shoot. A oh, great save, real class. The keeper really dug out his defence then, a magnificent effort. Away from immediate danger. Into Milan, get it back again. Bruno Fernandes. We hit half time. And there we are, off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to go in with the lead at half time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Inter Milan come off having scored the only goal of the game so far. It's been tight, it's been exciting. And there is certainly plenty for us to chew on during the break. We're probably into the second 45 minutes. Inter Milan carrying a one-goal lead. Rashford gets into a dangerous position. And here's Martinez. Van der Beek floats one over. And 
here's Luke. Shoots! Cleared away. And it's Chalhanolu. Surely, Lukaku! Their attempt, just the wrong outcome. Lukaku certainly could have and should have made more of that. Spotted the run and played him through. Bruno Fernandes. Aarons. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. Well, you might think he got off lightly. It is just a verbal warning. Chance to break. That's good progress he's made on the ball. Where to next? And he's on his way! He's in! Lukaku gets flagged offside. De Gea gets it upfield. Martinez. Lukaku is effectively being marked out of the game here. Yeah, and getting on the score sheet has clearly made him a marked man now. Emerson has it out wide and in space. Header! Good save, really well read. Oh, that was no routine save. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Moran can get it clear. In by Chalanolu, and he's cut it out. Rashford. Aarons. So, Jim, what are you thinking? Yeah, the ride is still a bit bumpy, Peter, so they're chasing the cushion of a second goal. And again, they run up against stubborn defending. And it's Cavani. Cavani is fouled. Bruno Fernandes! He's gone for it! Oh, that's a fine save! Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. That's what has to be done now, no question about it. Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Spot on, Peter. Emerson goes up and over. Rafael Varane. Inter really are enduring a, a frustrating spell when it comes to trying to move the ball around the midfield. They, they lack the sharpness and urgency. Managed to get it away. Chalanolu. In by Chalanolu. Oh, and that should have been two. Yeah, he knew only too well that to concede then would have been tough to recover from. That could prove a big moment in this game. Shaw. Shaw drives it forward. 
Manchester United are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. Now it's Lukaku. Inter are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end too. Hoists it forward. Moran gets into the right position to intercept. Just five minutes left. Inter Milan just have to run down the clock. The ball's come loose and the chase is on. Gets away from his opponents. Oh, shot a goal! Oh, taken with style! Two up now and they are cruising. Great reactions in front of goal. He just saw what was on. Well, look, there's only one player who merits all the praise for that. Not only did he finish it, but his instincts for being where he was were absolutely top-notch. Sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches. Well, to wait until now to make this change seems a bit baffling. He's expecting the miraculous to turn this around from here. Inter Milan could not have picked a better time to snatch a two-goal lead. Is there still time for a response? Yeah, looks very much like the final nail in the coffin for me, I have to say. Cavani tries lifting it over. Barrera, Ericsson, and that's that, solid if not especially fancy, always in control, they did enough to win it. Any reflections on what you've seen Jim? Inter can certainly give themselves a pat on the back for a job 